Epic Kabar, everybody. How y'all doing? Cowboy Uncle Dave here. Not a real cowboy. Just a hat. But you all know that anyways. Um, trying to play the 12-string. I'm not a 12-string guitar player, but what are we going to do? We're going to do a reaction to a real 12-string guitar player. Um, one of who I just recently discovered um, through a friend at work. Asked me to go do a reaction, if you can still hear me, to a guy named John Butler. And he did a a composition on a 12 string yesterday called Oceans, which I was absolutely just mesmerized by. I thought it was fantastic. I do believe that now I have my favorite 12 string guitar player, um, which is something I've been kind of looking for for quite a while. Um, another, uh, going to give a little bit of a shout out for my good friend Mark at 8 Minute Axum. He's a 12 string guitar player, supports a lot of 12 string. Uh, you learn a lot about 12 string guitars through his channel. In the meantime, John Butler, um, another good friend of mine. I did Oceans yesterday. Uh, I asked for any other requests. Good friend of mine, Michael Mueller's. Uh, I think he's also got a number. Uh, 9635. Michael Mueller, 9635, requested I go check this out. Now, this is John Butler Trio. Funky tonight. Um, trio, I guess it's with a couple of other musicians, which I'm sure if they're anything as talented as he is, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, music that we're going to hear. In the meantime, copy man of coffee. Oh, man top. Uh, I drink my coffee heat tam. That means coffee black. Delicious. Always great to listen to music when you're drinking a nice, beautiful hot coffee. It's kind of cooled down a little bit there. Almost time for another one. Um, this is John Butler, uh, Trio Funky tonight. Um, we're going to check this out together. He's 12 string guitarist. Uh, uh, instrumentalist, I should say, um, did Ocean yesterday, mesmerized by it, so this should be pretty cool to watch. Um, so here we go. Funky tonight. Something to hear somebody on a 12 string guitar play solo. My friend Mark saying that he think he was missing one of his strings from his low E. He's not. He's got full fall on it. This is cool. I don't know where this is, but people are getting into it. I like it. Now, I did not know he sang. This is, this is good. Down his fretboard playing that. <laughs> He's got these people, guys. He's feeding off the people here. This is killer. Come on, slap some guns and roses. You think they're a good guitar, but let's see you solo on a 12 like this. He's feeding off the crowd. Crowd's loving this. What a great rhythm. Funky, funky, funky. Who knew? 12 string and get funky with the 12 string. He's doing it right here, John Butler.
is anywhere in uh, North America. Is that somewhere in Asia, possibly? I just wish I was there. A great vibe. There, man, you can look at this. I don't know where this is. Okay, where are we going with this now? That's the beauty about a live show. You never know where they're going to take it, where they're going to go. What we're seeing right now, though, I bet you is not on a record. Yeah, not North America. I wish I was there. Super talented musicians, but obviously, I mean, to be playing there with John Butler. John Butler is uh, doing stuff on a 12-string guitar, I've yet to see. Soloing on a 12-string, killer, awesome. I really like this better than the Oceans one I did yesterday. But it gives me that much more admiration now for this position. There goes the drummer. Word of advice, don't ever get in a fist fight with a drummer. See how fast his hands go? He'll hit you ten times before you even know what's going on. That's before he kicks you with his kick drum. <laughs> Participation again. This is something you only get in a live show. If you've never been to see a live show, you need to go to one because this is what you experience. This is why you don't get off of listening to a song on the radio. You become part of the show, and it feels amazing. It truly does. Especially if you're not a musician. Musicians know this too. A musician, doesn't matter what they're going through, a lot of times they pick up their instrument, they play it, they're in that little world where nothing else in this world exists. So you play at a live show and a crowd participation like this, nothing else exists. Playing it somewhere in Asia. This is awesome, getting the crowd right into different. The bassist and the guitarist both put down pickup sticks to become part of a percussion. Sorry, I forget about the camera going. The percussion like this is so hypnotizing. What about a rhythm beat? What a great 
straight approach, right? All percussion. Usually, usually a drummer feeds off the bassist, bassist feeds off the drummer. This is just all percussion. Man, I wish I was there. <laughs> if I haven't said that, <laughs> I know it's there. There you only get from a live show. You never get that off an out record unless it's a recorded of a live show. Come on, bring it home, John. Bring it home, Jericho. Okay? Got his capo on the fourth fret. He did that way. yesterday Everyone. when I watched him do a song Ocean. I didn't know he sang though. This is great crowd Two. participation. He's got that in back the front stage. It's supposed to be a wave. More like a ripple. <laughs> I don't know, but it's awesome though. over I wish it wasn't that was so good huh oh let me get this over here sorry about this little brief part that was incredible that was incredible I highly highly approve of that um, got that from Oswaldo Jesus's channel he's recorded from requested by uh, Michael Mueller's 9623 it is um, 9635 my apologies um, my friend Mark at 8 Minute Acts 2, my 12 string phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Peace and love to you all out there. If you have any requests or anything you'd like me to see, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, peace and love to you all. Go get your coffee. Coffee man of coffee. <laughs>